Hey there, Jules the Guitar Jules back with another guitar lesson for you. Firstly, welcome and thanks for uh, stopping by. We are going to look at five awesome things Sir Eric Clapton does or did or still does. We are going to examine five riffs, a little bit of a solo, one with some nice chords, um, just kind of five songs I've picked to examine his style and some really cool things he does. And we're going to break it down, I'll give you an example of what's happening and then I'll show you the song sample that I've recorded or possibly the other way around, I'm not sure. Okay, so the first example is Lay Down Sally. What I love about this song is you've got two guitars playing off of each other and it's a really funky riff and it's actually quite difficult to get your head around if you're not used to that kind of, I suppose, funky feel. So I'm not sure if Mr. Clapton, Sir Eric Clapton, played both parts. Uh, I saw somewhere that maybe it was Jeff Beck on this as well, but we're gonna look at the two different parts. So the first rhythm part, we've got this. And it's basically just a 12 bar blues. But we've taken the F sharp and the G note down onto the E string. So it's really cool, it's a kind of backwards 12 bar blues. And we've just got a couple of, a couple of quavers in there just to give it some, some funk. So slowly. And you can kind of put the E in between the F sharp and the G if you want to. I think it sounds nicer to kind of syncopate it and maybe get a bit scratchy on the strings. So again. Now the second guitar comes in on beat two with a, a waka, dead strings. So we go one. <laughs> okay, so the second guitar that goes on top, we get this one, two, three, and four. So one, two, one, two, three, and four. So slowly. One, two, three. And then. Slow again. So there we've got G, F sharp, E, A, E. So we come up on that E to finish. And I'm muting that out because you don't want to hear it too much. And that gets really nice upstrikes because it definitely sounds funky with the upstrikes on that little A power chord. So that's Lay Down Sally. Okay, so that was kind of layered guitar and a kind of backwards 12 bar. Now we're going to look at Layla, Derek and the Dominoes, one of Eric Clapton's biggest hits and a hit all around the world. Everybody's heard it. Absolutely fantastic guitar intro. <laughs>
the riff in kind of D minor pentatonic. Now the trick here is to let that D to C slide. And the same with the B flat, but you kind of pick it at the last minute. So, yeah? And then we take, take the B flat bass note off, we drop down to an A. Now this is cool. And we hit a G. C power chord, take off to E. Also hit that G. Pure class. Now I'll let you work out where the hammer-ons and pull-offs are on the riff. And then we've got guitar two. It just plays an octave of the main riff. And the cool bit that everybody wants to uh, everybody wants to know, we just take it up another octave, so it's guitar three. So I'll play that slowly. Okay, so I think what's great about Layla speaks for itself. So we'll move on to another massive hit, and that's Cocaine. Now we're going to play the rhythm as well as a little bit of the solo. So we look at how Eric Clapton's phrasing made his soloing great, even when sometimes he was literally just stuck in the pentatonic box. power chord but you kind of got the major third on there I wouldn't play over to the E string okay so I'm gonna just play through parts of this solo very slowly there's no rhythm track going um, you'll have seen it already or it'll be after this so all you want to do is kind of pick and choose and just see what he was doing and where he's added these little little techniques of his and, and more importantly he's left space to breathe this solo breathes it reminds me of kind of solos Paranoid by Tony Iommi as well. It's a, it's a great, really simple solo, but it, it speaks for itself and you remember it. So what we've got, there's our rhythm. most of what I played on the video. I might have missed one part there, but again, I'll just play through even more slowly because that actually wasn't that slow. <laughs> Phrasing, space, time to breathe, time to reflect.
Okay, and Cream's classic hit, Sunshine of Your Love. Again, this speaks for itself. It's just the blues scale. Indeed. All kind of going over that way. And then taking some of the um, notes to the higher octave. And what's lovely about this is Eric's choice of using major chords instead of minor, though technically we're in a minor key, but because it's blues it works. Uh, and he hasn't played the extra octave on the D string, he's just playing a power chord, and then you'll see that middle finger is playing the major third there on the 11th fret. So the riff is, I hear a kind of hammer on when it starts. I can't be sure, but I, I like it. Slide up and then disappear again. Got two of those. Then into that major to C major. D major to C major. And then the riff changes, goes up to 12 on the D string, 10 and 10 on G and B. So you see I'm doing a lot of sliding, I slide up to that 12 and we slide up to that 12 as well so. So that's four times and then the riff just moves down, so we're just changing key to G and the major chord as well you'll have the little finger on the B string there on the 12th fret. Sticks with that standard climb down the blue scale. So, again, just a fantastic, simple, super memorable riff D blue scale and a couple of major chords to uh, really give that bluesy sound. Okay, and finally on my list is the gorgeous Tears in Heaven, and we're just going to have a little look at the verse riff. So we've got an A major chord with a, a suspension, suspended fourth coming on there. Kind of E with a G sharp bass, F sharp minor, D with an F sharp bass, and then we're finishing kind of with an A major again with an E in the bass. But it's really nice the way this runs down. I think I saw a video recently of Tommy Emmanuel explaining how fantastic this bit of songwriting is, uh, and there's some, some of the things he said I would have I would have never considered myself. So yeah, fantastic songwriting again. So, just going to play it slowly. Okay, thanks for watching. So that concludes my little look at Sir Eric Clapton's um, life and some of his classic hits, his style, his technique, some of his phrasing, some of his chordal work, and just um, 
all the things that made him such a great guitarist and a great songwriter. See you on the next one.